Hello! Let me quickly walk you through the top new features in the Toolset Blocks 1.5 release. Here's a store selling shoes and here's how my single product page looks like. This specific product is categorized under shoes, slippers. And here is how some other shoes would look like with the same template. These ones, for example, are categorized under heels. But what if you want to display products in certain categories differently? No problem, Toolset now allows you to do this. Look, when I go to Toolset, Content Templates, I can see my main template which is assigned to all products on the site. All I have to do is create a new template and give it a name. Let's say Products Heels. Now I select Products in the Usage section. Of course, you can use this for any type of content and not just products. OK, click the Set Conditions link. And I can now set conditions based on values coming from a number of sources like custom fields and taxonomies. Our heels are a product category, so in the left drop down I select that, and in the right one I select heels. And that's it! Now I can design this template to look different than the default one. Here's my final design. Now all the shoes use the main template, but all shoes with heels use the new one I created specifically for them. Now you can assign archives to specific taxonomy terms. Look, this is my archive page showing all shoe products. And if I click to see an archive for a specific category, let's say sandals, the same archive with the same design is applied. But now you can have completely different archive designs for specific categories. Just go to Toolset WordPress Archives page and click to create a new archive. You'll see a wizard, which is also introduced in this release. It's very similar to the view wizard, and defaults are fine here. Now select the taxonomy you want to use this archive for. In our case, it's the product categories. Click to select specific terms and use the input field to search for and select the ones you need. I'll select sandals. And that's it! Now I can design this archive to look different than the default one. Here's what I ended up with. Now, my archive for products in the sandals category looks different than other product listing pages. Let's stay on this archive page and add a new type of block introduced in this version, stock status. You can edit the design settings for the text and the container. For example, I'll make it a bit smaller and add a bit of a margin at the bottom. And here it is on the front end. You can see that the third product in the list doesn't show anything. This is because the stock status block will only display the status for products whose inventory is marked as managed, like this. And now that we turn it on, it shows on the front end. Your custom searches can now have search fields for product price and on sale status. Look. Here's my view with a custom search. I click to add a search field and look under product filters. Let's use the price field first. It automatically inserts a range filter for the price. I'll move it into a nicer place. And let's add another field, but this time select on sale status. Super easy. And here it is on the front end. When you edit WordPress archives that display products, there is now a new WooCommerce section in the archives right sidebar. It provides options to display or hide WooCommerce's own control for pagination and product sorting. Toolset Blocks 1.5 brings deep integration with both the Cadence Blocks plugin and the Cadence theme. When you edit content templates and archives, you will see the new section for the Cadence theme options. You won't find too many options here because Cadence allows you granular control for each post type right from the customizer. And now, when you insert Cadence Blocks, you can enable the Dynamic Sources option for various fields. Look. I'll insert the Cadence Infobox block. 
In the right sidebar, there is now the Dynamic Sources section. I enable the Dynamic Source for the title, select the field and it works. I can do the same for, let's say, Description. Select my custom field and there it is. And last but not least, Toolset Blocks 1.5 brings full compatibility with the Page Builder Framework theme. Like all other integrated themes, when you edit an archive or a content template, you will see the new section for the Page Builder Framework theme options. This gives you complete control over the layout for any template or archive you design with Toolset.